everyone studying Photograph 51 and the Penelope ad. So I'm going to go through an essay prompt today. And this particular essay prompt is one that I have created myself. And so if you're looking for more essay topics for these two texts, then I'll link you to my website down the bottom where you can go and fetch some never seen before essay prompts there. So let's just get into things. Oh, and as a side note, if you're somebody who isn't studying these texts, I would still highly recommend that you watch this video because the way that I'm approaching the essay topic is something that you could take away and use for your own text. So it doesn't matter what text you're studying because it's more about the thinking that's going on in the background that you should learn from. Let's get going. The authors of Photograph 51 and the Pinello Peard give voice to the women in their stories. Discuss. So here my keywords are going to be authors, which means I should talk about their intention and what message they want us to hear. Voice, meaning power to speak, to story tell, to share their side of the story. Women, obviously this is quite straightforward, but here I'm going to make sure that I don't just talk about the main characters. So not just Penelope and Rosalind, but other women in the books too just to make sure I really offer a holistic approach. And the last keyword is discuss. With the word discuss, it gives us more room to maneuver. So because there is more of an opportunity to discuss, I'm going to touch on topics that are going to interest me. And so I feel like this is a great way for you to tune into the book, especially as you just start writing, because the more you can make the writing interesting for yourself, the more interesting it's going to be for your reader naturally. My contention here is by giving voice to the women in their stories, Atwood and Ziegler reveal stories of those previously silenced and showcase how storytelling empowers women marginalized by misogynistic social constructs. We could have just done a simple, yes, I agree, the authors of the Penelope ad and Photograph 51 give voice to the women in their stories, and that was it. But I want you to think about ways you can shed more light to the issue. Think about the bigger picture. Why are you discussing this? Why does this essay matter? What message are you sending out into the world? Try to think on that bigger scale because it will undoubtedly improve your essay writing. So here's my plan. Body paragraph one. In giving voice to the females, both Atwood and Ziegler offer a new, previously unseen perspective on misogyny. I'm going to talk about both texts in each of my body paragraphs. So if you're unsure about how this essay structure works, I'll link a video for you where I've discussed this down below. And also if you're interested, my study guide also covers this in a lot of detail, also giving you many, many examples so that you understand exactly how it works too. In the Odyssey, the maids are constructed as unfaithful and disrespectful of Queen Penelope, Telemachus and other staff. Their own story is silenced and instead is observed through others. Whereas in the Penelope Ad, the maids tell their own version of events, mailing that their actions were under Penelope's instruction. The patriarchal rule is accentuated through their lack of status and rape, which is considered deplorable, but common feature of palace life. Moreover, we feel sympathy for these three dimensional characters as they toil and slave and hoist their skirts at men's command. Likewise, Rosalind Franklin's version of events has never been revealed because of her early death. In Photograph 51, however, we learn of the misogyny Rosalind faces as a female scientist. My name is Rosalind, but you can call me Miss Franklin. Everyone else does. Body Paragraph 2. By offering these women a voice, the authors reject social conventions of femininity. Penelope is cunning and intelligent, foiling the suitor's plans to marry her by delaying her decision with the endless weaving of a shroud. The juxtaposition of unsuspecting men and strategic Penelope thwarts traditional gender roles where women are viewed as inferior. They were angry, not least because they'd been fooled by a woman. Meanwhile, Rosalind's stubborn and resilient nature rebuffs the narrow-minded beliefs of her fellow co-workers who believe that kindness 
always works with women, and that women expect men to fall upon them like unrestrained beasts. Paragraph 3. Most importantly, both authors showcase the importance of giving women a voice as a means to control their own narrative. Penelope opens her reflection with an emphasis on how she owes it to herself to spin a thread of her own. She shares how she now has the opportunity to share her side of the story, whereas allowing others to speak for her from their perspective means that they were turning me into a story, not the kind of stories I prefer to hear about myself. While Penelope is empowered to reveal her story and invites us to an alternate version of historical events, this isn't afforded to Rosalind in Photograph 51. Rosalind is literally sidelined. We just hear her lines, a recording, or she speaks from off stage, and therefore unable to control her narrative. The stage direction, forward slash, show how the men of past and present talk over her, reducing her opinion and overriding her speech with their own self-aggrandizement. Although Ziegler withholds Rosalind from a complete narrative, both Atwood and Ziegler show in their own way how it is important for women to have a voice so that they can share their own stories in their own way. So that's my approach for this essay topic. Of course, the nature of the word discuss means that you can attack this prompt in your own way. You don't have to use any of the points that I've used, but come up with your own and take it in a completely different direction. That's not a problem at all. One thing that I would recommend you though, and something that I didn't really do in my own, is spend more time talking about the men. I think as soon as we see the keyword women, it's very easy for us just to jump on with the women and only talk about the women. But this is my food for thought for you, and that we only understand women as much as we do in these texts because there are men around them. And it's the men's reactions and the responses to the women that help us to understand the women's situation. So that if I had more time, I would start incorporating the men into my essay prompt just to make it more wholesome for the examiner to read and to show the examiner that I really do understand these texts inside out. That's it from me guys. And I have a special request from you. Let me know how you would respond to this essay topic in the in not in the description box, but in the comments below. I'd really love to hear how you break down the essay topic, how you would go about developing your contention, and what would be your main ideas. Whenever I get the chance, I'll be looking through the comments and offering feedback for you guys. So I think, why not? Give it a stab and I'm sure that, you know, by putting out your knowledge out there, other people will do the same and you can all learn from each other. Collaborate, don't compete because you'll find that you'll get much further, not just in VCE, but in life as well. So yeah, chat to you guys soon. Bye.